Welcome back to Gear Acquisition Syndrome. Today we're taking a look at the brand new RX 818, an RGBW Rollflex light mat by Falcon Eyes. I've been using this light for a few weeks now and it became one of my favorite lights as soon as I opened the package and picked it up. It's designed so the LEDs are attached to a flexible, rollable mat that feels very high quality and durable. And the LEDs have a protective cover in front of them so you don't have to worry about touching or splashing them. The control ballast has a built-in V-mount battery slot for mobile power. But I've been using V-mount batteries to power from the get-go even in my studio because I've been trying to avoid more and more tripping over wires and figuring out where the nearest plug is, but also I wanna get into the habit of using lights that can be powered anywhere in any situation where plug and power might not be available for whatever reason. The mat is extremely lightweight and has cables that connect to the power ballast several feet away. It also comes with a folding metal section used to turn the flexible mat into a large rigid panel. I've been mounting it onto a C-stand and then hanging the power ballast with a V-mount battery on the other side of the gobo arm on top of the C-stand as a counterweight and it's worked for me great without any issues. I find this makes for a very flexible and portable setup and I haven't had to use any sandbags. Speaking of portability, the light comes fully contained in a really nice hard shell Pelican style case that is smaller than you might expect for a light like this with holes for padlocks. So you shouldn't have any issues traveling with this light. The RX818 comes with a Velcro attachable softbox, diffusion, and an egg crate that I find really useful. The control interface is identical to the D-Cell DS811 interface, another wonderful light by Falcon Eyes that I've already reviewed. So if you've been buying into the Falcon Eyes system, this one will be very familiar to you. You can find a link to my review of the DS811 Falcon Eyes newest 1x1 RGB panel in the description of this video. They have a really useful Android app for controlling their lights and there's an iOS app on the way. The light has an incredible output. It is a 100 watt light, but the way the light is dispersed from the unit gives it a much more usable output than similarly priced and similarly powered competition. We'll go over some of the numbers in just a moment. This light takes up significantly less space than a Bowens mount light with an attached parabolic softbox. My crew already knows that I love my aperture lights, but sometimes you just don't have enough room to fit a giant softbox where you need one. One of my favorite things about this light is the size and weight. I've been booming it over things I've been shooting for an awesome soft overhead lighting effect and getting a key light in otherwise difficult places. This light mat produces a huge soft light and it looks great and it's really easy to maneuver close to your subject. The only real disadvantage to using something like this instead of a 120D would be the versatility you lose from not having the ability to use Bowen's mount accessories. I'm going to go ahead and measure the CRI and TLCI now with a UPR Tech CV600 and get some real numbers. The frequency is configurable from 10 to 30 kilohertz, so you never need to worry about flicker with this light. When measured from one meter away with the softbox and grid attached, we got 1500 lux, 96 CRI and 94 TLCI, which are all excellent readings. Compared to a similarly priced option, the Aperture 120D with a softbox and grid measured from one meter away behind that softbox and grid, the RX818 was three times brighter. One thing to pay attention to though is the spectral graph. Even though we're seeing great numbers from both lights, the 120D still renders color better. The graph is much smoother and you can observe a green spike in the RX818. Graphs and numbers aren't everything though and you've seen me lit throughout this video with the RX818. And in editing, I haven't seen any issues with the color. This light also has the same benefits as a lot of RGB lights with lots of special effects and not having to carry around a whole bunch of gels to get your lights to look just the way you want them to look. It costs about $800 and that's what you're gonna pay for something about this size, about this power, with all the RGB capabilities of the lights that are out today. If you wanna grab your own, there's a link to it in the description of this video. It is an affiliate link, so using that link will help support my channel. I wasn't paid to make this video, but the RX818 was provided to me by Falcon Eyes to review. So thank you to them for sending it out. If you like this video, drop a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see the next episode of Gear Acquisition Syndrome. I'll see you next time.